stop procrastinating. Easier said than done, right? I'm a victim of myself. To be honest, I struggle to stay focused. Like I struggle to do deep work for long periods of time during the day. But I'm making this video to hopefully help you by explaining to you a few things that I do that help. Okay. Now, let's take a week's worth of work. What I like to do is at the start of the week, I will set some basic goals for the week. And usually these are in the forms of tasks, like actual defined tasks. So, you know, in my job, I'm a developer advocate for Roadmap SH. So typically in a week, I will have an end goal in that week of create a roadmap, add content to another roadmap do a stream, create short form content, review some articles, the list goes on. Now, if I was to just end there, I would probably fall into a deep pit of procrastination. If I just said, okay, Dan, by Friday, you need to have achieved these things. It, it just wouldn't work like that for me. So here's what I do. I look at that list of things and I select which ones are time sensitive. So for instance, doing a stream is usually pretty time sensitive. In fact, I just finished that stream an hour ago. I couldn't have completed that stream any earlier in the week or I can't complete it tomorrow. So that one is time boxed to a specific zone. So I'll take that out and I'll time box it. Let's look at the ones that are more long-term. Adding content to a roadmap. Now, depending on the roadmap, Currently, I'm doing the SQL roadmap. That's got over 90 topics, over 120 actually, I think. If I was to just blast that out in one go, it wouldn't work very well for me. So what I do is I, I take all the topics and I divide it by seven, or five, sorry, I divide it by five working days, and I'll just allocate a fifth of the topics per day. And I'll time box it to one specific part of the day, and there's actually a, I'll try and link, hopefully I'll put something here which references what I'm talking about, but they say it's best to do creative things in the morning and then more like laborious things in the afternoon or the other way around, I can't remember, but that's what I try and do. Now, I also manage an open source community, so we have pull requests and issues to deal with. Rather than saying, oh, by the end of the week, I'll deal with 50 pull requests, I'll do a 10 of them. And that's a nice little win, which brings me on to my next point. It's, if you suffer, I'm not saying that I have ADHD, I might do. A lot of people say they do now, but I think it's it's really just a, a symptom of the, all this short form content and rapid dopamine hits that we have. But we won't go into that. I perform very well when I have instantaneous feedback. So what I like to do is, because the pull request reviews aren't very strenuous, I put them at the start of my day and then I'll end my day. Like I'll, I'll end that first hour of my day having ticked off a pretty good task for me. And that's really how I structure my whole week. And hopefully that can help you. So to recap, I have like weekly goals. And they're not really goals because they're more tasks. I have tasks to complete in a week. I'll then select the time sensitive ones and put them on my calendar where they belong. And I'll then take the rest and I'll divide, I'll divide the task into five chunks and I'll put them on each day and then I'll tackle them in time. And at the end of each task, I'll tick it off on my to-do list and then I get instantaneous feedback. Hopefully this video helped you a little bit. If nothing, it helped to let you know you're not alone. Like I'm 33 years old and I really struggle to stay focused. And I think a big part of this is working at home. So a little bonus point, I try and spend some of my mornings over the road at the coffee shop. It may be loud and distracting, but it's not next to my bed and it's not next to my personal laptop and it's not next to my kitchen or my cat. So hope that helped.